What's up, Gage? This is Parker. I run an Adalo tutorial subscription slash community called Adalocado, and I wanted to try and answer your question here. So I don't know the specific details of your use case, but this seems like something that you can definitely do in Adalo. So just to reiterate, it looks like what you're trying to do here is have people enter in a number uh, particularly tied to a product or an item, it sounds like, uh, kind of like a bidding. And you want to show the lowest bid, but you don't want to show the lowest bid if there's another of the same value. So for example, if two people bid five and one person bids six, I believe the lowest you'd want to show is the six. Um, anyways, let me show you kind of where my thought would be on how to do this. So I just created a blank project here and we're gonna build this out. Let's start with the database. So we've got our users. That's just the default users database that comes with our Adalo apps. And let's add a collection. We're gonna call this items, okay? And one more thing here, we're gonna add another collection and we're gonna call this bids. All right, so for bids, what I want to do is add a relationship to users, and we want the one-to-many relationship here where it's one user, they can place multiple bids, um, but a bid is always from one person, okay? I'm going to hit done. We'll just leave it the default as user, and then let's also add a relationship to items. So we want an item to have multiple bids. Again, same thing as our last relationship, but the bids should belong to one item at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna click done there. And you'll see we've got the reciprocals in our other collections. So our items has a relationship to bids and our users have a relationship to bids as well. Okay, so let's build this out and kind of see what it looks like. I think the first thing we want to do is we want to add a representation for items and a way for the users to enter a number or bid on them. So I'm just gonna add a button here. Uh, this is gonna be pretty simple but I'm gonna call it bid. Let's remove the icon here. Um, let's also, let's make this dynamic. We'll do bid on and then the item name. Um, and you can get pretty complex with this. I think that's probably obvious. I'm just doing this for an example so you can see how to build this out. Uh, but I'm gonna turn this button into a collection list. So up here, I can click make list. And there we go, we've got a list now. Let's make it a list of items. It's gonna show all the items that we have. And let's add some items just so we have a few things to work with too. Let's call this a bike. You mentioned a bidding system. So I really, I don't know if this is the right approach here, but hopefully it's helpful. We'll do a bike, scooter, and skates, okay? And click done. So now we've got uh, our items here and we can now edit the button in our list. Let me click into that and let's get the name. Okay, bid on item name. What we're gonna do is we're going to create sort of a pop-up here uh, that's going to add the bids. So when somebody clicks on this, we're gonna add an action that links to a new screen. For this one, let's go down to miscellaneous and just choose the modal screen. And let's do place bid, create screen. And then I'm going to nudge these buttons around just a little bit uh, and rename them. So we've got cancel, let's do bid, cancel and bid. We can change this to place your bid. There we go. Okay, so now I want to also add a number field. So let's click this plus, go down to forms and fields. Let's get the text input. I need to make it a little smaller. Instead of enter text, uh, let's do enter your lowest number. Okay. And then we can change this to a number input as well. And one thing I wanna do is make sure this is all grouped together. This is a caveat of the uh, modal. I just want to ungroup the current group of things and regroup them. And then on our action that goes to the screen, I wanna make it a modal instead. 
Okay, great. So now let's do this. Let's set it up where once they've placed their bid, it goes to another screen. So when they click bid, we're going to add an action. Oh, we want to get rid of this back. Make sure this goes back. Yeah. Okay. So when they hit bid, we want to link to a new screen. We'll choose the app bar. And let's say, um, let's say item, let's just call it item bids for now here. Okay, so we go to the item bid screen and we also want to do this. So when they click bid, they need to also create a new bid. And this bid is going to be attached to the user and linked to the current item. Oh, we forgot to set up our bid to take a number. So let's do that next. Uh, we need another field. Let's add a number field. Let's just call this amount. Okay, and back in our action that creates this bid, the amount that it creates is going to be from the form input. Okay, so we've got our amount in here now. All right, so we've got where people are placing the bid. Uh, after that, it's gonna link to the item bids. So let's just add a list of the current bids. We'll just use text. Um, We'll turn this into a list, make it a list of bids. We want to filter it by the item, so the current item bids. And then here's what we want to do here. We want to sort it from low to high and limit it to one. So it's not actually going to look like a list. It's only going to show the lowest bid. Um, but that's what we want for this setup. We're using the list component. That way we can get to the lowest bid. Okay. Uh, let's also, in the text itself, I want to edit that, and I will say the lowest bid is currently, let's grab the magic text here and get the, uh, let's see, we want the current bid, but we don't want the bid that just came through. Um, so let's see, I'm not sure which we're going to want here. We'll just do that for now and test it and see how it looks. Okay, and for the title, let's just give this something descriptive. Instead of item bids, we can call it the current item bids. Okay, awesome. Now, how do we get it where it's not going to accept duplicates? What we can do in this scenario is for the action where we create a new bid, so we're gonna set this to be conditional and it's only going to happen if the current item bids amount minimum. So what we're doing here, this is kind of a long dropdown list, but we're looking at the lowest bid by clicking this. So we're comparing against the lowest bid and we're gonna say if the lowest bid is greater than the form input. So if I put five, into the form input, if I put five as my bid and the lowest bid is currently five, this won't run. If I put five in and the lowest bid is currently four, then this won't run either. If I uh, put my current bid in as five and the, the lowest bid right now is six, then this will run because it's less than. Um, actually, we need, yeah, greater than. That's what we want. I think that's right. Okay, we'll click done on that. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're not creating a new bid item unless it's lower than the lowest bid currently. And that's going to solve our duplicate problem um, and should make this work all correctly. So one more thing before we jump in to test this on the app bar for this item bids, I don't want it going back to this modal. I actually just want to go to the home screen. So I'm going to choose home uh, and choose my own transition here. Okay, cool. So this should, in theory, work, but let's give it a test and just see how this looks. Let me hop into preview and I need to create a quick test account. Okay, great. Let me click sign up. And we've got our three items to choose from. Let's just choose skates. Uh, and let's say, let's say 10, right? And I'll click bid. Um, so it's not working. Oh, okay. I think I see the problem here. 
So we're using the uh, the condition where it's checking to see if the minimum is greater than the new lowest number, but there's currently no number to check against. So maybe what we ought to do is when you create a new item, uh, to go ahead and create a bid that goes with it. Uh, so I'm gonna just add one now, and we could name it something like starter or something like that, um, and assign it to the item and set the amount to something really high, like you know, higher than anyone's gonna actually pay for a set of skates. We'll click save on that. And let's see if that fixes it. Now let's enter our bid for skates with 10. Okay, it added two. Uh, I don't know why it even listed two. Current item bids. Got our text in here. This should be, oh, did my max number not save? I thought I had a max number of one. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. Let's bid on skates. Let's put 15, so we've already bid 10. Let's bid 15. Uh, That's not right, lowest bid is currently This is where it, it helps to just kind of jump around and see what is going on here. Um, we're sorting the amount low to high. It's our list of bids, only showing the current item bids, max number of one. And this bid amount should be right. Maybe this would be weird, but maybe my text field is too long. Let's try that again. I wonder if I'm pulling in the wrong amount here. So we're we're looking at our bids list, but we want the current bid amount. We don't, the thing is we don't want the bid that we just placed because if we didn't happen to even place a bid, that is not great. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, so it takes a little bit uh, just to find the right field. Um, that's the downside to the way that I've set this up. Uh, but it looks like it's working. So let's try again. Let's do another item. Let's do a scooter. Okay, let's bid 200. Click bid. Nothing. Oh, duh. <laughs> that's because I never set the default bid. So that's a crucial part. And I just totally forgot. Um, anytime you create a new item with this setup, because we've got a condition on here, you're going to also need a default bid already set. So this is only going to work for skates right now, because that's the only one that has existing bids. So we could place another one, eight, that's going to be the new lowest. And there we go.